I thought I knew a lot of things about Ray Kroc, and it turns out I knew almost nothing. Um, and the origin of McDonald's. But, you know, when you see a really good script, you know it. And then you had seen the direct, if you've seen the director's work, you got that information. And so after a meeting or two with John, I went, yeah, this is a, this is a guy I'd like to work with. He didn't start this until he was in his 50s. You know, he had, had his ups and downs. He, was, he had years where he did quite well, and then years where he wasn't doing well at all. And he had been working since he was uh, a teenager, you know, dropped out of school and a couple times, and then said, he was very clear, he said, I want to go into business, I want to make money, and, and I want to do that now. And he started and, and did okay, did very well, then did maybe not so well, and was like life is, especially life in show business. And uh, he, put his, you know, his head down and went for it and he was driven. And it's really the story of the free enterprise system and capitalism and America and America at that time. I've had some great good fortune and this one's no less. I've got, I've, I've been in some great casts and this is a really great cast. John Lynch and, and Nick Offerman who were so fabulous uh, and the, these guys are so good. The first day they showed, they, they had they had speeches like this. That were, and I thought, well, you know, this will be several takes because we got to come in and you know, cut it into pieces. They sat down in rehearsal and they boom right through it. On. Okay, let's see if they can do this when they shoot it. I don't know if they had been like sneaking off and rehearsing for weeks, but they were word perfect first day. At one point. I forgot my line. I forgot to come in because I was so mesmerized by how good they were. <laughs> it changed it immensely. Uh, it, it arguably is the first example of branding, um, you know, by by imagery anyway. You know, I mean, it created this uh, this this image. You know, he and he he saw the visual. You know, he visually saw the the arches and the the colors and and it, and it obviously saw saw way beyond that and saw what it what it could be and it's ubiqu it's ubiquitous if that's the correct word it's it's it, it's a thing that is been through your life whether you're even whether you've even eaten in a McDonald's or not it doesn't matter it's a thing that is interwoven into the society you know what I mean uh, Starbucks is that now you know um, it's just a you could reference McDonald's in a lot of ways and never having stepped foot in one, you know, it, 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 and it changed the way, arguably, the way we live, you know, it may, we're a portable society, we're, you know, we're a throwaway society, we're fast-moving society, you know. I mean, it's a great American story, it really is. It's just a really well-made movie, too. It's just, just a, it's just a well-made movie and, and and entertaining as hell. It has it has it has it has a bit uh, um, of a Billy Wilder feel to it, actually. Hi, Vali here, and I've got some movie title trivia for you with a list of movie names that have become part of everyday speech. Now, let's start off with the movie Single White Female. My new roommate is kind of needy. I hope it doesn't turn into a single white female scenario. Fatal attraction. The sex was a great, but I think there might be a fatal attraction thing going on. Animal house. We went to a frat party last week and it was a total animal house. Rashomon. Trying to investigate this murder was like a Rashomon. Everyone had a different story. Gaslight. He married this woman and proceeded to gaslight her to try and get her money. Sophie's Choice. My daughter's play is at the same time as my son's first football game. It's going to be a real Sophie's Choice. Rayman. That guy is a genius. He's like a total Rayman catfish. I totally got a catfished last year. She turned out to be a 44-year-old guy. Groundhog Day. This week at work was the same, day after day. It was like Groundhog Day situation. Have you ever used any of these sayings? Are there some I missed? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to our channel for all the best trailer releases. See ya.